Today we're going to learn how to tie a silk wrap. This is a rectangular scarf with a keyhole opening from Silk from the Hearts. And you can wear it down long like this. And it becomes almost like silk wings. Or the most popular way to tie it is to take the two corners, the back and the front, and tie a square knot on each side. That makes a little jacket shrug so that it won't fly off your shoulders. So straighten your little lapel. We designed it so that it has a nice lapel. And voila, you've got a great look over a black pantsuit or a little black dress. Then change your look. Bring it down, tie it together, big scarf either in front or turn it to its side. And this is where the magnet trick comes in for those of you who watched our other videos. You just take the one magnet, put it on the inside of your shirt or your top and take the other one and put it on the scarf itself. And voila, Eastern look or Asian look, crisscross it in the front and pull it around to the back and tie it in the back. Just in a square knot and there you go. You've got a nice look there too. Lots of freedom of movement in this. And because it's hand dyed silk and a wonderful nice satin a weave, it's very lightweight and very comfortable. You can take the two long tails and pull it back like this and you've got to tie it and you've got a cape. Put your favorite piece of jewelry right here and you've got a great look. Take the two tails from the back, bring them around to the front around your waist and tie them in a square knot and then arrange your little lapel so that you have a nice jacket look. Pull your sleeves out and then you have a very nice different look. Take it off your shoulder, tie it up almost like a toga over the top. Again, you can use the magnet trick again. Or if you're really into fun, whether you're on the beach and you're going in um, to the restaurant and you want a nice cover-up that's um, attractive and will go anywhere, take it, put it around your waist, pull one end up, the other end up, tie it around your neck, and then tie it in a square knot in the back. And you can arrange it however, however you like. So you tuck that in, or you can leave it out. It's up to you. And of course, you can wear it as a sarong skirt. So just tie it around your waist again. Square knot, and then you've got a nice bathing suit cover up as well.